hi, so I look like garbage, whatever, who cares, um, I took a nap, and then I woke up, and, like, I'm not wearing any makeup, and I've just kind of felt a little weird since the nap, I'm also anxious as heck, and, um, I have been for, like, like two hours now, and I tried making this video, like, an hour ago, but... <laughs> It was really long and really messy and like all over the friggin' place, so I'm going to retry it now. Because the subject at hand, I still want to talk about it because I think that it is important. And I've actually never talked about it on this channel before. And I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. But basically, two years ago, I had just started my job at Save-A-Lot. I was a cashier there. Um... For years, I have always identified as asexual and aromantic, because I really don't give a shit about relationships or any of that. But there was a boy there who was very nice to me. Like, I had anxiety attacks at work. He would give me- he gave me an ice cream cone one day. Oh my god. He would check up on me. He was very sweet to me, and I developed feelings for said boy. I will try not to say his name in this video, because I'm not trying to throw anyone under the bus, and I'm not- trying to, like, blackmail anyone or whatever, you know, talk shit, but this is something that does need to be talked about, I feel like, because it's something that I've not talked about. Uh, okay, I'm repeating myself. And I'm not trying to be like Tana Mojo and be all like, oh, because, you know, I might get emotional, I'm going to try not to, and it's not for, like, pity or sympathy, it's just something that, it's difficult. Um, basically... I dated this boy. This boy was my first, like, actual boyfriend. He was my first love. Um, we dated for a little over a year and a half, which I know to most people that's not a very long time. But for me to never have a, like, never really had a relationship, I was homebound, never really had friends to be, like, you know, to be honest. So I had this boyfriend who, like, loved me and like wanted to be in like wanted to be in a relationship with me it was so surreal for like the first like month of the relationship I didn't even really feel suicidal at all I didn't even self-harm I felt like I had a purpose to like live like I could actually see a future for myself with this person with this boy and he changed my perception of life and relationships and things and it was wonderful and I felt so loved because I've never really truly felt loved by anyone not even my own family <laughs> like they treat me like garbage so to have someone who I care about also care about me in the same way it was fantastic and I have never felt anything like that before in my life so the whole thing like oh yeah you can't love someone else until you love yourself I think it's false I don't buy that because I never loved myself and I loved this person wholeheartedly and unfortunately to this day I still do and it's been like two years um, so the first, like, five months were pretty, were, they were good. Um, we had little tiffs, like, tiffies, whatever, arguments here and there. Nothing severe, you know. Um, but his video game addiction became a problem. I didn't realize he had a video game problem when we first started dating because he still made time for me. He was still, like, infatuated, like, super infatuated with me. Like, it was new, you know, he wanted to know me and put off this good impression. So I fell in love with someone who actually didn't exist, <laughs> pretty much. Um, he changed a lot. Suddenly, I became too clingy, and I became too much, and he didn't want me around. And then, um, it became this, like, emotionally and, like, mentally kind of abusive relationship where if I even talked about how I felt about anything I suddenly just I would get punished silent treatment now he knew I had separation anxiety he knew I had anxiety really badly I would literally call him 
if I was feeling suicide. Because, like, when we first started dating, he saw that I self-harmed. And he, had, like, he was like, please, like, if you, like, I will be here for you. Just come talk to me. So if I tried to come talk to him, he would get so upset. He didn't want to hear it. Not upset as in, like, oh, my gosh. Like, upset as in, like, why the fuck are you like this? Like, you're fucking crazy. Don't talk to me. So then he would proceed to block me everywhere. for, And then... For 24 hours, I wasn't, like, I could not actually get a hold of him. Like, I could not talk to him. I could not contact him at all. There was no possible way he would block me everywhere and make sure that he would ignore all my phone calls. He would turn off his phone. He would, like, make it to where I couldn't call his house phone. And if I called his house phone, he would either hang up, get his mom to hang up. It was ridiculous. Um, he told, like, he would say things to me that, like, hurt, you know? Like... If you cut your hair, I'm going to break up with you. That's a silly thing. That's so silly. It's just hair. It grows back. It's hair. Super, something superficial like that. And I actually just cut my hair about two weeks ago, as you guys know. And I was terrified to do so because I hadn't cut my hair since I, since I dated, since I started dating this guy two years ago. So, <laughs> I was terrified to cut my hair. And he doesn't, he doesn't like the fact that I cut my hair. But it was like... He was like, oh, well, I like girls with long, dark hair. So I, sh I, always, try to keep, I always tried to keep my hair long and dark because I wanted to, you know, be what he wanted. He wanted me to dress more preppy. I bought preppy clothes. I never fucking dressed preppy, okay? I was like one of those wannabe grunge-ass stupid Tumblr bitches, basically. Like I used to, he hated on my combat boots. I loved my combat boots. Fuck that. He hated on all my, like, band t-shirts, and, like, I had this jean jacket. He didn't like it. Couldn't wear it around him. Um, I haven't worn my overalls in a year and a half, because he told me I couldn't wear them. He said they were stupid and ugly, and whenever I hang out with him, I'm not allowed to wear them. He literally told me I couldn't wear articles of clothing, because he didn't like them. That's controlling and abusive. Um, he would say I'm too skinny. Like, he literally told me that he would not get back together with me. Because he, he broke up with me, mind you. Because we would fight so freaking much. Because it was just, like, video games, video games, video games. And I constantly would be like, hey, like... <laughs> you have a girlfriend, you know that, right? Like, I just like to know that I, I still matter. Especially if I'm dating someone and, like, they claim to love me and then, like, I don't know. I'm getting chest pains thinking about this. And I keep looking at him right now because he's online playing video games with his friends. I called him about an hour ago and he hung up on me because um, his video games are more important. He literally told me he wanted me to go. He didn't want to talk because he was too busy. <sighs> he's so fr I hate him. Okay. Mm. So, we started arguing a lot, and I became more psycho, or whatever you want to call it. I just, I was really, like, I felt unloved. I felt unwanted. Um, he started saying really mean things. He would make fun of me for self-harming. He would get mad at me. Um, he would just say, like, really mean things about me all the time. About my anxiety, about my depression, about how stupid I am, and how you know, this and that, and it just, so much negativity, and I would be like, hey, that's rude, like, don't say that, didn't matter, I don't know how many times he called me annoying, I don't know how many times he called me clingy, I probably couldn't even count and tell you how many times he, he would call me all that sort of stuff, because it was so overused to the point where I knew if I even, like, there were times, and even to this day I still feel this way, if I even just, the fact that I'm breathing, annoys him. The fact that I am alive, I'm a living person, and I haven't killed myself, annoys him. Like, I know that's not true. I, like, I know it's not, but, like, the way he acts towards me, that's how it, he makes it seem. And that's, like, really, like, being melodramatic about it, but whatever. Basically, the reason I actually went to the psych ward in the first place was because of him and his mother. I got into an argument with him, and I had belongings at his house that I needed to go back and get, and his mom wouldn't let me inside to get my shit. 
So, um, I started crying and she told me that I was psycho and nothing about me was normal and she was talking mad shit to me and she told me she didn't want me around her son anymore because I was like too crazy basically. And I told her I was going to kill myself. <laughs> Smart idea, I know. She threatened to call the cops on me. She told me that I was never allowed there ever again. And like, all this crap. So I go to the psych ward. I'm there for three days. The day I get out, three days before my birthday, October 10th, okay? I, I get out, I get my phone. I'm so happy to be out. And the only person I want to talk to is my boyfriend, okay? Yes, like, when I was upstairs, I didn't have his number. I kept trying to think of it to call him, but I was like, you know what, no, it's best that I just don't talk to him for these three days, and it's the longest time we had, you know, been really truly apart like that. So, I thought it'd be good for us. So I got out, and I called him as soon as I got home. I was so happy to just hear his voice, and then he tells me that he's breaking up with me. I haven't even been out of the psych ward for like 20 to 30 minutes yet, and my boyfriend breaks up with me. My boyfriend of like... 17 months, was it? Whatever. Like, what the hell? That, so that was, that was great. It was really what I wanted to come out to, you know? No, um, it was fucking awful. And then I, like, I ended up back in the psych ward like a week later. <laughs> because of all that. And then, so since then, my depression has really gone downhill. Um, he didn't talk to me for like a month, like a month at one point in November. He didn't talk to me at all. He told me he didn't love me at all. Wanted nothing. He didn't care about me. All this bullshit. And he keeps messing with my feelings. So, I've tried to be on good terms with him. When I got out of the psych ward back in January. Yes. <laughs> I've been there so much now I don't even fucking remember. Um, towards the end of January, we hung out a lot, and we, we got really close, we hung out like three days in a row, everything was wonderful, blah 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 blah, then he ignores me for two fucking weeks, and then the day before Valentine's Day, he comes back, and, cause we had plans for Valentine's Day, and he's just like, hey, like, acting like nothing even happened, I'm like, why did you just ignore me for like 11 days, I didn't, yes you, yes you did, like, what the fuck, yes you, you just ignored me for, like, two weeks, you know how that makes me feel, I told you not to do that shit again, I told you if you did that shit again, I'm not talking to you anymore. Okay. So we spent Valentine's Day together, it was alright, like, it wasn't horrible, like, it was actually pretty nice, but then we started, like, fighting because I'm just, like, I tried making plans with him again for this upcoming Tuesday. Now he doesn't even know if he wants to hang out with me on Tuesday because he's being a dumb fucking asshole. He hasn't spoken to me in days, so I decided to call him earlier, and that went really well. Not just ditch me to go play video games. And then he told me he was going to play one, one game and go to bed, and that was a fucking lie because he's playing another game right now, and he's been playing it for a long time, and he, oh, I need to go to bed early. I guess I have to get up early. <sighs> All he does is lie to me and lie to me and lie to me and lie to me and ignore me and give me the silent treatment and it just makes my anxiety so much fucking worse and he knows it does. He kn Like I literally was like, why haven't you talked to me in like three days? Sorry. I don't know. He drives me crazy. Oh my god. So, yeah. This is just like a little, I don't even know why I'm sharing this, but... And there's so much more to it, and this video is already long enough, but he just, he's really something else. I don't even know why I keep trying, honestly. It's because I, you know, oh, he's my first love, and I hold on to that, when I really should just get the fuck over him. But it's easier said than done, obviously. But I'm kind of, like, annoyed, I'm anxious that he's still online. Like, he, I want to join the call and be like, what the hell? But I don't want to start anything, so I'm just going to keep my cool. But that's, that's what's going on with me. But yep, that's it. I hate this.